Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I went through shopping and I went a little crazy. Um, well, actually yesterday I went a little crazy um, shopping. I went to Hobby Lobby, I went to a bunch of places, but today I went to Goodwill and I got this set of TV trays because I thought it would be a really good idea for flexible seating. Um, so I set up a little like area to paint chalk paint and I'm gonna make my own and I'll show you guys how to make your own chalk paint um, I personally prefer to make my own chalk paint just because it gives me the option to choose whatever colors I want to um, but you can buy it pre-made and I mean they both work really well and if you're not comfortable making it yourself then totally buy it but I bought um, TV trays a set of four and then I bought an end table um, that I'm gonna use I think to just like host pencils and like a stapler some tape tissues all the like things that are open for students to use hole punch um, which is very important in music because they typically have just like a here's the hiccups again a three ring binder um, that they use to hold all of their documents so three whole bunch is very important so anyways if you're interested just keep on watching all right so the things that you're gonna need to make your own chalk paint are plaster of Paris you're gonna need um, something to hold water so you can measure your water and also measure your plaster of Paris um, you'll need something to put the paint in and then you'll need about a cup of paint. So if you get the sample sizes at Lowe's, eight fluid ounces is a cup. I had to look that up, but it is a cup. Um, this is actually blue, it kind of looks white on here. But anyways, the sample sizes, um, they have ones pre-made already, so you can do that or you can get like custom colors. This one's schoolboy blue. And then I also got, this one's called deep twilight blue. Um, so anyways, you'll just mix a whole one of these a third a cup of oops a third a cup of water and a third a cup of plaster of Paris don't forget to start with plaster of Paris otherwise it'll get all stuck when you mix up the water so I'm gonna do that now okay so start for starters um, I'm gonna open up the plaster of Paris I'm gonna get a third a cup you want the water to be room temperature also, by the way. Um, otherwise, it's, I think it'll set too quickly. Okay, so I got a third a cup of plaster of Paris. Put that in first. And then I've got my water right here. I'm gonna measure it till it's at a third of a cup. We're good. All right, then I'm gonna mix that together. And I just bought a really cheap um, brush at Lowe's, just like a really thin bristle brush. And then mix that together. I feel like I'm doing a cooking vlog right now. Until it's pretty much consistent. Ideally, you would have a paint stirrer, but I forgot to get one. So I'm just gonna use this brush. It was just a dollar though, so it's not really that big of a deal. Alright. Okay, so once you're done mixing, it should kind of look like this. Just kind of milky, white, liquidy. I think instead of painting the TV trays today, I am just going to do um, the end table because I'm running out of light. Um, it's already like 5.30 right now, so I'm going to do that first. So I'm going to go grab scissors really quick. I'll be right back. Why is this so hard to open? Oh my goodness. Got it. All right, so then I'm gonna dump all of this paint into the mixing tray and mix it all together. And it should create a really good um, consistency for anything that's like old and if it has like scratches in it or um, just like discrepancies in color or whatever, it covers it all up and sometimes it only takes one coat. So it's definitely the best option. Okay, mix it all together with my paintbrush. Even though I should have a paint stir, don't forget that 
like me. And um, just know that if you're making your own chalk paint, sometimes it does lighten the color just a little bit. So if anything, definitely go just a little bit darker. Um, I would say in your color. I'll put some like books up underneath of here. I'm not really quite sure what I'm gonna do with it yet, but um, I'll show you guys once I actually get into my classroom and use it. Okay, so one thing that I forgot to mention before you chalk paint, you should wipe down the furniture just so that it, it doesn't um, get any dust or dirt like trapped in with it. Um, I already did that step, but I forgot to say that. So, anyways, let's get started. So, with chalk paint, it literally doesn't matter what you do. Um, I enjoy painting. I'm definitely not a professional painter. Um, my parents are really good at painting. They've taught me some tips and tricks and stuff, but you really don't need to follow any of those when you're chalk painting. It's kind of just like slap it on, and the beauty of it is that it just resets itself and looks really good. Um, one thing to watch out for is dripping just because the paint is really thick and it does dry really fast. Um, so just, you know, less is more when it comes to chalk paint. Um, I would definitely recommend that when you paint, just go ahead and go for that second coat because it does dry so fast. You can really get that second coat in after you finish painting that first coat. So I already love this. It looks so good with blue. My school colors are blue and red. Um, we're the sailors, so I kind of wanted to keep some school spirit and go with a blue color. This is really pretty. Exactly what I wanted. It looks like it's dry now. Um, I think I'm gonna just go ahead and go for coat two. I think it looks so good. I'm so excited about it. All right, so it's getting a little bit late. It's like 6.07 right now, so the light is actually going down a lot. So I am gonna stop painting for today, and then tomorrow I'm gonna tweak any imperfections and then um, put the wax coating on it so that it's sealed, so that if there's drinks spilled on it or something like that, it's okay. So anyways, we will resume this tomorrow. All right, hello everyone. It is not the next day, but it's a couple days later. Um, so I finished painting. Um, this little end table the other day and it's completely dry now um, and I didn't I just coated it twice with chalk paint and I don't really need to fix anything um, there aren't any parts that look like they're standing out too much um, usually if you want to have a more distressed look this is where you'll take sandpaper and just kind of rub against the edges um, or in any parts that you kind of want the wood to show through to make it look a little bit more antiqued. Um, maybe in the future I'll do that, but for right now I kind of want it to just look like a nice blue color. So I'm gonna go in with this paste finishing wax. It's classic and it's um, natural colored. I got this at Lowe's, I'm pretty sure, and it's definitely over a year old, so it lasts for a long time. If you buy a big jug like this, you can use it for big projects. Um, I'm going to go back in with this brush that I got the other day um, that was a dollar. I just rinsed it off after I used it and the bristles are still, you know, I mean you can tell that it's been used but the bristles still feel pretty good. So I'll just put it into the wax and I just like spin it around um, until I feel like there's a good amount of product on the brush like this. 
end. I'm gonna start on top of the product. Also, I'm wearing really comfy clothes. Um, I didn't feel like getting dressed today, but you know, some days are like that, summertime, it's okay. Um, and then you just kind of paint it on. You can also do this with a rag. I've seen people do that before. I prefer the brush just because sometimes um, if you don't have the right kind of rag, it can leave like little spots and pieces of the rag in it. all over this because I'm just kind of throwing the wax on um, if you're you know a little more careful with it you probably won't have that issue but I'm just kind of throwing it on um, it'll take about 10 to 15 minutes to dry and then you can you know style it and put whatever you want on it so I'm gonna turn the camera off and let it dry and then I'll show you what it looks like all completed all right y'all the camera and I mean all right, y'all, the table is all dry, and I put some things on to style it. Um, I can't get into my classroom yet. Well, I can, but I'm not going to drive out to my classroom today to put it in yet. So for now, I'm going to keep it in my apartment, and it looks really freaking cute, and I really want another one um, to go in the same place that I have it right now. So I'm going to show you what I put on it, and I'll also tell you where I got that stuff from, too. Okay, so here's what it looks like all finished. All dry and I just love how it has a completely new life now um, it was an end table and now it's serving as like a little decorative thing for my kitchen so um, I got this little candle holder in case you're wondering at um, Marshall's it was like eight bucks these candles are from Hobby Lobby these are Ray Dunn um, I got those from TJ Maxx I got this little frame from TJ Maxx it's a new boyfriend um, and these little bookends I got on Amazon, and these books I got from a bunch of different ugh, a bunch of different places. But anyways, um, this is what it looks like close up. It just has a lot of details in it. So if I were you, look on Facebook for free and for sale for something kind of like this that has a lot of details, but you know might be a little hard to completely refinish and restain because of all those details, and then you can just repaint it and make it look like that and that's what here's what it looks like in my kitchen doesn't it look so cute oh I want to keep it okay guys that's gonna wrap up today's vlog if you liked um, this video and you want to see me redo more furniture or more classroom ideas just let me know down in the comments below let me know if any ideas that you have for things that you're gonna repaint or redo um, and don't forget to like and subscribe because I upload new videos every three days this summer um, I will see you guys later and I hope you have a beautiful and wonderful day and I love you Mwah.